so yesterday we have seen the compilation process so compilation process is divided in the four parts first one is the preprocessor then translator then assembler and then linker so in the preprocessor part it is uh, doing including the header files and it removes the command replacing the macros and the conditional compilation in translator it convert program into assembly language and in assembler assembler convert assembly program into the operational codes that operational codes are machine understandable that we can say binary code and linker file whatever the op codes generated by our code and what are the library we have used linking with that library and op codes so i have written like this this is op code is generated by our code and this is library that is predefined available that linking will do done by the linker itself so it will merge these two files and make one executable file related to particular OS next we have seen errors in C program there is two types of error one is the compile time and another one is the runtime error compile time that means before generating the exit executable file or error is generated is called a compile time error so it's in the case of preprocessor that means uh, suppose we have not included our file correct format we have not defined correct macros and like that way so we will see in the macro chapter what is exactly so we will see preprocessor chapter itself so we will make our own header file and we will do the as defined macro and all things then next is the translator translator it is checking that is syntax error or not so if we have missed any semicolon or any curly braces or anything like that so at that time translator and linker is the predefined library functions that name and that thing is not available suppose we have used a print of capital P instead of small p so like that way it's at the time of linker error next is the runtime error runtime error that means our executable file is generated and our code is running at that time error will come it's called a runtime error so first one is the segmentation fault that is we are trying to access unauthorized memory and next is the bus error bus error that means memory is not available and in the hardware and we are trying to access that memory and next is the floating point exception that means the infinite infinite number we are trying to access so we start today so our program is a set of instructions so whatever instruction we are writing and one more thing yesterday we have seen this program you have tried this program in your system yes okay you get any error or anything similar like me or it's running no, no it's running yeah so yesterday i did one simple mistake what i did in scanf after percentage d i put here space so once i will put here space so it is asking me three numbers instead of two numbers suppose i will write here 10 20 so it's not working here so i have to write third number then it's working and third number is not stored to anywhere else so that is the simple mistake i did after percentage d in scanf i have type one space now it's working so every time you have to not compile when you do any changes in your file at that time only you need to compile your code so suppose i have not did any changes and i have to run again then i will type here dot slash a dot exe this is my execu executable file i will run again and again so 30 and i will do 30 divided by 0 then here my code will stop and after a few seconds it will coming out from that so because of uh, vs code it is take care runtime error inside our terminal itself but you will find if you use any another terminal and so at that time infinite number is not possible so you will see in future floating point exception error so that means it is the you are trying to do infinite number divided by zero like that way so what is scanf and all things we will see so we will move to the data section why we write program so program is a set of instruction and program is a processing of data so another definition of program is program is a processing of data 
that means whatever we are trying to do that is in itself is a data so we are not uh, doing the print f is uh, only printing purpose but we have to make our logic we have to scan data we have to without scan we have to use data all things so what are types of data so star this is my data data is two types data one is the constant and another one is the variable so constant data are fixed data that means at the time of execution we are not able to change that data once we have declared that data and initialized that particular data at the time of execution runtime we are not changing data and there is another definition of constant that we will see later in this course constant that we cannot able to change at any time next is the variable declare so we can change this uh, we are able to change that data so there is four types of data available so we can call as a data type also so there is the main is the four in the c language so first one is the character so character is also constant and variable next one is the integer is also constant and variable third one is the real number so real number is the either float or either double the both are constant or variable fourth one is the string this is also constant or variable so character constant so in the character type of data type so we are able to use the like data small a capital a small z capital z anything in the single quotation we are writing the data at the red any symbol like that so in the character constant data are in the right in single quotation next one is the integer constant we will see one by one each and everything about the character integer float and everything so you will understood what is the meaning of that how many bytes of data store by character how many bytes of data store by integer and all things so integer are three types I am giving the 1 to 3 123 is an example so 123 is my decimal number so it can in, in the format of integer we can store hexadecimal number so hexadecimal that means that base are 16 And suppose I will write here 0, 1, 2, 3. So before any number, if we've written 0, that is treated as octal. And octal base is 8. So this base is 16, octal base is 8, and our decimal base is 10. Next is the float constant. So float that are the real numbers real numbers that means suppose I will write 2.35 F 0.75 F minus 3.5 F here also negative number are possible here also negative signs we will see in the character how negative numbers and how the next one is the double constant that is number 2.35000 like that way 
bigger number are stored in the double constant 0 0.75000 And next one is the string constant. So string quote constants are written in double quoted sign. One at the rate 23. In also one single quoted sign also we can able to write string constant but it more than one character. Suppose I will write in single quotation A so this is not my string but this is character constant but suppose I will write here single quotation ABC so this is my string constant. And again uh, in yes. hello why it is double quoted and why uh, in ABC it is single quoted? So it is possible to write a uh, single quoted and double quoted both way. So for example, I have written. Okay. But in single quoted, you have to write more than one character. So you can write uh, see, this is example. So you can write in single quoted hello also like that way. A any things you can write here. Okay. So this all are the examples 123 numbers. Then all things are the examples. So we will see one by one character data type and inside character data, data type we will go and then you will understood how to store this a and all things. Integer float double we will see each and everything for writing a data type and a variable name. We have one basic syntax is like a data type first we have to write data type. Then variable name. And then semicolon. So this is our basic syntax. So this data type is either character. So character is written as char integer plot double string like that way. So these are the data types and here variable name we will give any variable name but for that some rules in C language so we'll see after that what are the rules for variable name. So variable name is our user defined name to that particular variable. So before variable name there is inside C language 32 reserve keywords available. So these are the 32 reserve keywords in C language. Okay, write down this all the 32 keywords in your book. These are the Reserve keywords. So auto break case character continue do default constant double else. So we have seen today is this one character double integer. Each and every keyword we will see in this course. So now move to the variable name. So in the variable name first rule name so name should consist of only uppercase and lowercase letters digit and underscore sign the four things only available inside variable name so name consist only Uppercase and yes, Samrin. You can int, int and character uh, is in data type as well in both variable name and data type. No, 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 no. We cannot able to use this uh, as a 
dead uh, variable name because of so, that reason i have shown this uh, reserve keywords so this all the reserve keywords we cannot able to use as a variable name not used as a variable name but they are yes. used as a data type right yes data type and uh, other purpose all are not used as a data type but that is the other purpose that is the reserve keywords available in c language they have each and every keywords have its meaning mm. so they are called reserve keyword character in double and float correct all are the reserve keywords these 32 keywords all are reserve keywords mm. and uh, uh, this double intent characters are that's that also reserve keywords but there have use case for a data type so each and every have a different different use case. Mm -hmm. They can be used as a data type. No, no. data type only for. You will see a letter in this case. So as we seen written use case, we cannot use written as a data type. Written is for written purpose. I can understand written. I can like, but you have told in data type character in float double and yes, strings yes. are data type but yes. you said float will be in a reserved keyword right variable name all are the reserved keywords yes uh, all 32 are reserved keyword but uh, they are in variable name they are variable name right yes yes they are very vari no variable names they are the data types so first remove this keywords here variable name Write down only reserve keywords. Why I have shown, shown these reserve keywords? Because I have to give in the rules that we cannot able to use these 32 keywords as a variable name. Uh, can I add to this point? Uh, yes, Radhika. I think Yogin wants to say here that these are like these are the reserved keywords. Each keyword has some or the other use which are already predefined in C. The marked ones are used as data types and rest also have some other use cases, not just the uh, as in uh, define uh, definition of the data type, but they will surely have some other use cases in C. So that's why we cannot use them as a, a variable name definition. Yes, exactly. Mm, understood. Yes. Thanks, Radhika. Yes. So they can be used as a both like as a reserve variable as well as for the other uh, yeah use in c type yes yes as you yes. go through uh, each and every keywords you will understood this yeah. yes yes thank you so much yeah so variable number first rule is the name consists only uppercase lowercase letters digits and underscore So we can use small a to small z, capital A to capital Z, 1 to sorry 0 to 10 and underscore. These are the things only we can use in the variable name. And second rule is the first character of the variable name it should be a uh, alphabet or underscore so it it means that we cannot able to use first keyword of the variable name is as a digits so i will write down first first character should not be digit for example I can write integer a b c i can write integer a then one two three but i cannot able to write integer one a b c first digits are not allowed uh, yogan i have a question here how do we define uh... Uh, first question is can we define just the digit as a variable no right no no okay so that means digits can only be used in a combination with the uh, letters right yes exactly okay so we can able to write like that way integer underscore one two three like that way underscore is possible but first is the digits not possible 
so that means integer one only it's not possible and third is a c language is the case sensitive language that means here upper letter and lower letter both meaning are different so c is a case sensitive so upper case and lower case both are different so for example i will write here integer marks and another variable is my underscore capital m then marks so both are different variables both are different and another one rule we cannot able to use same inside one uh, sorry suppose i will write here integer abc and then again i will write integer abc this is not possible same variable is not possible integer abc and integer abc both at a time and fourth one is we cannot able to use reserve keywords as a variable name uh, yogin in uh, first character should not be a digit uh, that second point in that we can use first as a space or uh, then one two three or it is not possible i missed that point not possible okay so yes yes i will come to that point so so before fourth point i will explain that point only so in variable name we can use only these things small a to z capital a to z 0 to 10 and underscore any special characters are not allowed so okay it's either space it's it's either at the red it's either star or anything else it's not allowed in the variable so special name. any special character uh, before uh, <laughs> Before or in between. Anything. In okay. In between also. Suppose I will write uh, integer A B C space D F. So it is not allowed. Here we have to write underscore instead of that. Okay. So at the rate, suppose I will write integer A B C at the rate D F or anything else. So at the rate, any any special character are not allowed in uh, variable name. It's allow only small a to z, capital A to z, 0 to 10, but first char character is not a digits and underscore. That's only. And fourth point is as a variable name. We cannot able to use reserve keywords. If we try to use at the time compiler will generate error. This is the most important for uh, freshers uh, quiz or a uh, any written test in the written test. They will ask suppose my variable name is like that way integer a at the rate bc so this is valid or not like that way suppose they will ask integer 5 bc suppose they will ask integer def hash Suppose they will ask integer. I will write like that way average space number. So this all things are. Not correct variable name. Suppose they will ask integer size of. This is also not valid because size of is a. 
कीवर्ड रिजर्व कीवर्ड यू कैन सी हियर साइज ऑफ विल अवेलेबल एनीवेयर वेर इज साइज हियर साइज ऑफ कीवर्ड डन सो आई विल मूव टू द प्रोग्राम Yogin, I have a question. Yesterday, the function that we discussed, therein you uh, defined the uh, three variables in uh, i, j, k. So, does that mean that i, j, k, all three have the data type as integer? Yes, yes. I will come to that part in the when I came to integer. But your question answer is yes. All have a data type is integer and variable is different, different. Okay. So here I will write in the main character ch. I will close this. So what is the meaning of this? Samrin, you have to tell what is the meaning of this. It's an character uh, C and H. So character so, is defined uh, C and H. So character is a data type and C H not yes, C yes. and H. C H is my variable name. Variable name. So here you can use your name also. Here mm -hmm. you can use anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this part is called as a declaration. So this part called declaration of my variable in the terms of programming. Suppose I will write here. I will do comment here. Character ch is equal to a. What is this? This is called initialization. So character is my data type. Ch is my variable name. And A is my data. So I am storing one by data in the character. CH. So this, so so character ch is equal to A. This particular line meaning is the initialization. So this particular line is called initialization. So here I am doing two things. First one is the here character ch is my declaration. And ch is equal to a is called assigning. So I am data assigning data a in the character ch. So ch is my variable in the ch. I am assigning the data. Assign that means store. And all line meaning is the initialization. So once it will do ch is equal to a. That means in the character size is one byte data. So character data type size is one byte data. What is one byte? How many data we can store in one byte? Eight bits. No? Yeah, one byte that means eight mm -hmm. bits and eight bits. That means we have to store zero to mm -hmm. 255. 255. 
so character can store only 0 to 255 only in the terms of positive number only suppose it have to store negative also so at that time it will store only minus 128 to plus 127 so this is both positive and negative number how to store that we will see there is one thing that concept is signed and unsigned using that concept we can store negative number and positive number only uh, Yogin? yes uh, see here character is a data type right but still we are using int main means uh, what is the role of int there means is it a data type or uh, for character we are not go going to use the character main just a second you all are con i have seen a confusing in this integer main last three days and this written zero mm -hmm. so till functions chapter just a second till functions chapter you have to forget in your mind written zero and this integer okay okay so kind of till functions things. chapter in okay. function chapter i will explain the, there is okay. no relation with this character and anything okay okay in function chapter i will click you will by default you will understood what is that mm -hmm. this meaning integer and what is the meaning of this till function chapter you have to write as it is there is no any relation with this character and these things okay okay so character ch so whenever we use character that means it is store only one byte data keep it in your mind and write down in your book character will store only one byte data this is very important because mostly experienced person also doing this mistake it is experienced person also trying to store four byte data to character and many times they are doing mistakes so character will store only one byte data and there is one more rule for character is this part is done so i will remove this Uh, Yogin, I have a question here. How do we decide what would be the size of each uh, data type? Uh, as in, is it predefined or? Uh... It is predefined not by ourselves. So it is defined by our compiler and C language itself. Okay. So that is the ANSI standard. That is the ISO standard data type size that character will store only one byte like that way. Okay in the case of integer there is a difference in different or different os little bit but in the character it is a one byte for any os any microcontroller you will use as either small to small 8051 or bigger one any bigger microcontroller any bigger processor i7 more than that character will store only one byte data okay done this uh, part so i will remove this next is character are stored in its ascii value So character are story needs ASCII value. What is the meaning of that? Suppose I will write here int f. So in the print, suppose I have to print this a. So I have to write in double quotation. This is my character. That means I have to use percentage c. So percentage c is the type qualifier for character. Then I will write outside the inverted comma semicolon sorry colon then my variable name so what will be my output it's c a. right sorry a right yeah okay this is c p2 dot c a dot exe so my output is a suppose i will write here space percentage d d that means decimal format 
so whatever we are number writing that one two three four five six seven eight like that way in regular life whatever number we are writing that is in the form of decimal so suppose i will write here in decimal and i have to i will again write the character then again compile my code so my output is 97 in the form of decimal it's 97 what is the meaning of this 97 anyone know why it's it, 97 it's as key value which is on keyboard right yes a is diff a value is 97 yes exactly so i will open the ascii table i have already opened here yeah. you can see here i will remove so character are stored in its ascii value that means you can see here what is the decim decimal number of small a 97 because of that reason it prints 97 suppose i will use so here you can see 0 to positive 127 characters are available in the ascii table so all the ascii table data are stored in the form of character only so character positive number is 0 to 127 only there is 255 but uh, in the case of only positive if it is the combination of positive and negative at that time we can do only positive number 0 to 127 suppose i will write here capital a then what is my output 65 so capital A ASCII value is 65. So character are stored in its ASCII value. So here, what is the percentage C and percentage D? So we will see this is called format specifier. Not type qualifier, it's the format specifier. what is the format specifier so format specifier we are using that uh, so in the terms of definition it can called format specifier are useful for passing an information to the printf in which format that we are dealing with the data so in the printf we are passing the information that in which format we want data so percentage C that means we want data in the form of character percentage D that means we want our data in the form of decimal number suppose I will write here percentage F that means we want our data in the form of float number like that this way we will use the format specifier This same rules available for scanf also. Suppose I have to not give assign the data, so I can do like that way also, and then after I can do like that way also. Ch is equal to capital A. So both are same. My output is same. Suppose here I want to change my data and then after I will print. So here my data is updated A to B. So here my character will store capital B and it will print here capital B and its ASCII value. So A65 B66. So here I have to write slash n. Then it will be in next line. Yogin, uh, if we want to uh, write a word, so then we have to write percentage S or percentage C. 
words is in the form of string so percentage s we have to write and uh, ch is equal to uh, some word word or it will change ch see so here you have to use string data type character will not use for that uh, more than one words okay character is only for one byte data and one byte data because of mm. that reason we can use yes, or yes. store only one keyword yes yes so we will come to that string portion at that time we will see array concept and string concept till now you have to use this character integer float like that way only so today you have to use only character only so now understood you have we can able to change also our data so here i have print data what is my data here so my data here is the a and 65 after changing my data b and 66 suppose i will do ch is equal to small a then what is my output Suppose I will remove this command and what is I will remove this command. So what is my output here? So I have did print only one time in my program. A equal to nine A and ninety seven. Yes, exactly. Latest data it will print here after that. A in 97 it will print I have commented this part mm -hmm. if I will remove this command then it will print all the data first a and uh, 65 then B and 66 then a and 97 okay, if we are not giving uh, uh, slash in then it will be at the same line right Yes, slash n that means it will print on next line, whatever after that is slash mm -hmm. the n that means next line. Okay, understood this. Next, we will move to the scan up. We will see. Suppose I'll remove all these things. Suppose I have to enter data at runtime. So my executable file will generate an H and every time whenever I will uh, I have to not compile my code uh, every time I have to run my executable file at runtime and I have to enter data from user. So whatever data user will enter that I need to print. Understood. So for scan F we will scan data from user. So scan F we have to write same things like printf print percentage c then here comma and address of ch that we have to pass so this is compulsory we have to write address and then variable name this name is called as a address and signature in the C language it's called as an address then CH that means I am passing the address of character whenever we are writing is character CH in the RAM it's allocate one memory and that memory is uh, suppose that it is allocating 1000 location of that memory and this name is CH so that memory will allocate so whatever that memory is address it we are passing to user so you have to write data at this particular location so whenever user will write data at the runtime 10 data suppose i have written so and 10 will store is this particular location and this location name is ch inside memory this process will happen and then ch we are using here for the printing purpose so i will write here clear this is cp2.c dot slash a dot exe i will write here a then a 97 it will print 
so whenever i will run so here for user indication we have to write print f enter character suppose user have enter b then my output is small b b98 suppose i will do dot slash a dot exe i will enter capital a my output is capital a and 65 so understood this scanf is useful for scanning data from user and you can uh, we can't use ch is equal to any alphabet instead of uh, instead of print f enter character sorry we can't use a uh, character equal to any alphabet or number decimal number instead of writing print f enter character we can able to use so what is the meaning of that why we are using print print f print f is for we are displaying whatever things we are doing that we have to display to user mm -hmm. okay suppose i will write here print f percentage c what do you want to write character or you have to write like this with percentage c and ch like that way so when we have to uh, write any any number or a variable number then we are using scanf right scanf is useful for whenever we have to take data from user at the runtime okay not fixed one we can change yeah. and okay. user user will enter data so okay. user will that that enter any data mm -hmm. that is not fixed or uh, not defined uh, by yes. us okay. yes okay scanf yeah. is useful for we have to and we have to take data at the run time mm. and printf is useful for displaying the information to user this is printf is like our monitor what the role of monitor it is displaying us what we are doing and what is the role of cpu and the ram and processor all things are doing that particular task but monitor is displaying only things similar way printf is displaying only things it is not doing anything in, and any logic and anything inside that so here i have written printf enter character so it is displaying here enter character suppose i will not write here enter character so my code will run so directly it is asking so end user don't know what the, suppose i have written code that means i know but suppose i give my code to you directly executable file so how you know what you need to do because of that reason we have to return enter character so user know i need to enter here one character understood so suppose i will do here print a percentage dch what will print here anyone what will print here so i tried this just recently by mistake and uh, i got some random uh, value of minus 138 yeah so here it will print any garbage data suppose i have not assigned here any value mm. here i have not assigned any value to ch yeah. my ch i have only declare my ch but i have not mm. assigned any value and i am trying but to print here print uh, percentage c will be something na? Yogin. percentage c is the type qualifier i have to print data in the format of character mm. format specifier sorry not type qualifier but it's a format specifier, format specifier. Mm. i want data in the form of character mm. percentage d i want data in the form of decimal, decimal. Yes. percentage h that means i want h or x i will confirm that i want data in the form of x value like that way mm. so you are not defined that character so here i have not declare any value i mm. have not okay. i have declare only character but i have okay. not initialized any value to ch so mm. here ch will print any garbage data 
So what is that garbage data? So as I explained earlier, whenever we declare data character CH, so there is one space available that, for example, that is 1000 location and here CH. So here by default, any garbage data is available in that location. That is in the Radhika's case, it's minus 138 number is available. So any garbage data will available that it will print. So this is not fixed. This is called garbage data. Any data it will print. Here I am assigning that data in the that particular location small a capital A. So it will go here and it will store that data. So I will run this code. So here it have not print anything in my case. OK. In your case, it will print something else. In my case, this location uh, is nothing is available. So because of that reason, it's not print. Here I will enter character small a. Then it will print a n 97. Again, I will run. It is not print then small b b n 98 like that. So suppose I will do here ch is equal to capital B. Then now my data is initialized. So now it will print first capital B. And then it will ask me character. So like that our program execution is line by line. First it will check this line, then it will go to this line, then next line, then next line, and then next line. Okay, that's it for today. You need to do practice. One thing you need to notice whenever you do a percentage C or anything in scanf, please don't put space there after that. That's it. If you have any question for today's class, try to do a practice of different different uh, variable name so suppose you can do here ch is equal to like that you can do a practice of ch at the rate and like that with different different practice you will do then you will understand how to do a variable name and which type of variable name i have to give you can give here your name also you can give anything that is not hard and fast rule we have to use for character ch only mm -hmm.